Welcome back to this edition of Modern Dallas TV. I'm Jeff Levine with ModernDallas.net. This week on the real estate side, we visit an ultra contemporary two-story home in the Knox Henderson area. We talk with Todd Camplin about his show at Holly Johnson Gallery. We cover some great products, events, and open houses. Enjoy this week's edition. Welcome back. Modern Dallas Real Estate is here uh, in the Knox Henderson area. We're at 5103 Milam. I'm here with Robbie Sturgeon with uh, Briggs Freeman Sotheby's at the Lakewood office, yes. which just recently opened. Robbie, this is a wonderful home in this neighborhood. Give us some idea what it's about and how large and you know some of the details in the mm -hmm. house. Yeah, it certainly stands out for the neighborhood. It's a unique property for Cochrane Heights in Knox Henderson area. Uh, house is roughly about three bed, 2,500 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bath. Uh, it was built in 2008. Uh, it was an architecture firm based here in Dallas called EST11. Uh, the owners uh, worked really hand on hand with the architect firm. Um, uh, he's, he's got a great design eye, great touch, and so he really laid out everything and designed every square inch of the property. It's got some wonderful features. Yeah. Obviously, Behind us is this vent hood. Yes, the Italian made vent hood. That's the most talked about piece in the whole house. Everybody's like, what is that? Uh, but it's a great conversation piece. And yeah. then what's next to it? Uh, it's the actually a water faucet for your pot filler for any kind, anytime you're filling up a heavy pot or something. That's a great, yeah, it's a great feature. Great feature. One of the wonderful things I noticed on the upstairs is there's a lot of walls and it can have a lot of artwork on mm -hmm. those walls. But more importantly, what is that railing on the top? You know, a lot of museums do that to uh, display their art, and that's a feature that the owner wanted in the house because they had a, quite the art collection. Uh, so it's a great feature. You know, you have the smooth walls that replicate museum walls, so it's, it's a nice feature to show off your art. Awesome. Um, one of the lovely features driving by the house, and anytime you come by this house, it's on a corner lot, yes. are the stained glass windows that Mm -hmm. or on the front and the back of the house. There was a Charles Dilbeck house that was on the property when the owners bought the piece of property, so that, and it was in pretty bad uh, shape. So they tore down that property to build the house that's here now. And those are just leftover stained glass windows from, the previous, from, from that house, from Charles Dilbeck. Excellent. Yeah. Well, it's a wonderful home. It is on the market. Uh, you can see it at uh, Briggs Freeman's website or go to moderndallas.net and see our modern real estate listings. We appreciate you being You're here welcome. with us and uh, definitely stop by. It's a wonderful house. Come see us. Thanks a lot. Welcome back to Modern Dallas Art. I'm uh, here at Holly Johnson Gallery with a very good friend of mine, Todd Camplin. He uh, has a show here. Todd. We've gone many years together through uh, Modern Dallas, and now you have this show here. This is such an interesting body of work. Give me some idea of what it takes to create a piece like this. Well, I start off with taking words, and then I take those words and I create uh, designs with those ideas, uh, and then I draw around them with very small, minute pens. Uh, I do large works, small works, and I get in there and I really, really hand, hand work the, the drawings. And uh, this one here is all filled up. Uh, other ones I have used sort of design work where I take my old passion of graphic design and, and place it onto the, the work. So I have like package designs. Uh, other works I just let it go free and let those little designs play off of each other, almost like little storms or little eddies in water. Tell us about the words. Where, do they, where are they derived from and what is the inspiration? Uh, a lot of the words come from poetry. Uh, recently, I've been taking titles of other people's uh, paintings, kind of sort of playing off of their titles, especially the ones that were like their last artworks. And, they, and I take their last artworks and sort of play off of that idea of unfinished works and try to finish them in my own style. Uh, but I really enjoy poetry. You can break it down into different ways and then allow those words to play off of each other, just, just like poetry does. This is a lovely body of work. Definitely uh, stop by. It's going on through July. Uh, 1845 Levy Street is the address. Come by, say hi to Holly, and enjoy the show. 
Modern Dallas Cravings, great ideas for the home. We have the Pearl Collection from Vidra Pur, a glass bead mosaic available in the 11 sumptuous iridescent colors, as well as the Tropical White Limestone, which is a slat tile on the desk, is made up of individual pieces, allowing for a range of different install ideas. Both of these are available at Horizon Italian Tile at 1617 High Line Drive, Suite 450 in the Dallas Design District. Modern Dallas Furniture features the Loop by Christophe Pillay for Serra Lunga. It's a magnificent indoor or outdoor object of home decor and adds a very fashionable touch to any environment. Available in multiple colors, metallics, or two-tone finish. Available at Poland at 1617 Highline Drive, Suite 470. To wrap up this week, Modern Dallas Art, most of the galleries opened their shows last night and will run through July. Find all the details on Modern Dallas Art page. And the calendar of events, we have Preservation Dallas, their Summer Sizzler series on June the 30th at Dealey Plaza at 6 p.m. Open houses for June the 28th, 396 Miramar in Old Highland Park. And if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. Until next week, we'll see you later. <laughs>